different. Now you'll notice that it, there's a little um, thumbtack showing where it has a little line where it's kind of being anchored to and, and the wrap, the way the text is wrapping around it. A couple of tips. Uh, if you right click on the image that you're trying to insert, I'm going to come down to the option for position. Now with position, what it's doing is it attaches that image box to one of these three locations. It'll either attach it so it always stays with a particular page or with a particular paragraph or with a particular character. So in this case, I'm going to have it anchor to a paragraph. I want this image to kind of move with the paragraph I have that is about Canada's Wonderland. So I'm going to choose paragraph. And you can actually position exactly where you want it uh, from the right margin, from the left margin, from the edge of the page, and so on. So I'm going to say OK. Now the text isn't really wrapping the way I want. I can either right click to access the wrap feature which allows me to de determine where I want the text to flow around this image. But I also, because I have selected a, an image, I have the, my property bar has been updated to show me those similar options, ones that I could use to adjust this image. So if I click on the uh, wrap button, I have a drop down, and I can see a little thumbnail of how it's going to move or position that text. What's handy is that you'll notice that I, as I just hover over, the text in my document is moving and previewing so I can see exactly how that's going to change depending on what option I select. So let's say neither side. So the image kind of stands out on its own and it's going to force that paragraph down underneath the, the, uh, the image that I've chosen. Okay. One thing that I do like, and this is something that you may have used uh, in your own uh, workflow, is that if you have done uh, maybe some formatting to, to some text. Let's, uh, let's do an example of that now. Let's say for instance I have some text here and I want to change the color to blue and I'm going to bold it. Now I want to apply that same formatting to other words or to other paragraphs in my, in my document. Rather than selecting it and going through those same steps again and changing the color separately and then changing the, the bold feature, what I can do is just click in the paragraph or the, the text that has the formatting that I've applied that I want to copy. And in the standard uh, toolbar, I have what looks like a paint roller. It's called the Quick Format. Now if I click it once, it allows me to uh, choose do I want just the character formatting, like for instance in this case the color of the font or the font face, bold in this case, or do I want to copy paragraph styles as well. Well, I'm just going to copy the, the character formatting that I've applied. I'm going to say OK. And you'll notice my cursor has changed to the little paint roller. That allows me to come in here and select text to update. Now you notice that the cursor is stayed uh, on this uh, paint roller. The assumption is that you're going to want to do this perhaps or, or paste it in more than one location. So you come over and actually turn it off. I want to test something quickly though. No, okay, that worked perfectly actually. <laughs> um, that's great for copying things like fonts or perhaps uh, paragraphs, but there's another use for it as well. I'm going to move my cursor into the middle of the paragraph here, and I'm going to insert another image. I'm going to come up to the Insert menu under Pictures, and I'm going to choose to insert a, uh, a picture from a file. So I have one that I've actually used. Let's see, my tangle of folders, tips and tricks, and I'm going to insert a graphic. Choose insert. Now you notice that the wrapping, uh, the default is this is kind of the text is just flowing around this image. Well, rather than go through the process of applying the same wrapping and, and anchoring uh, options that I applied to this image, if I select the 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 word uh, the Wonderland image where I applied that that wrap and uh, attached it to the paragraph. I can also come up to the quick format, select it, click on the, the new image I've inserted, and you'll notice that it's applied that same formatting, even though it's not text or paragraph, it's applied that to another image. So just an alternate use of the same quick format uh, option that you may have been using strictly for text to layout and formatting. All right. Um, what I want to do is just add a little more content to this to this uh, newsletter so we can kind of 
move and, and add some more stuff to it. So what I'm going to do is uh, talk a little bit about tools, uh, a table tools specifically. So I'm going to click in, uh, I'm just going to click down here on my third page just to get away from, from my columns. And I'm going to go back to my WordPerfect Lightning. The reason I, I've done this is so I really I don't have to type as I talk <laughs> because it doesn't always work so well. Uh, but I also want to be able to just copy and paste. So what I'm going to do is select the phone list. I'm going to copy that, theoretically, hang on here, copy. I'm going to move that down, and I'm going to insert that or paste unformatted in my, uh, in my document in WordPerfect. Now what I've done is I actually have a list of, of phone numbers. I put the name, I've got a comma, and then their, their actual phone number. If I wanted to present this in a table format, uh, I've seen individuals who will copy, create a table, they'll copy and paste the parts that they want, and they'll move them into each individual cell. And that can be very time consuming. What you can do is if you select the text that you would like to present uh, within a table, go up to the table menu. And from in the table menu, there's an option to convert. And what that does, it allows you to convert text to a table and, of course, back again. So in this case, I want two columns because I have a name and I have a phone number. It's automatically recognized that I've separated that information by a comma. And I'm going to say OK. And instantly, it's actually grabbed all of that information and put the, the, each piece of it in individual cells for me, which is incredibly handy. What I also want to do is show you some of the quick table tools that, uh, that frankly, I've only recently started using. I've always uh, been someone who goes up to the table menu and manually selects whether to insert or delete cells or, or rows and so on. What I want to point out, though, are the quick tools that are available now in the property bar. So because I am in a table right now, the property bar is showing me ways I can now modify that table. If I click out of the table, you'll notice that it's just showing me standard kind of font editing options. So while I'm in the table, what I'm going to do is choose a Quick Join. If I click on Quick Join, you notice that my cursor has changed. I have uh, arrows kind of pointing at each other. What that allows me to do is click and drag to select individual cells, and it automatically joins them together. There's also a fantastic tool in here for adding new columns. So in this case, I want to add a new column to include uh, perhaps home phone number and cell phone information or something of that nature. I don't want to have to create another column and then start joining cells again and trying to get this layout maintained. So what I can do is, again, in the property bar, if I come to Quick Split Column, and I turn that on, you notice again that my cursor has changed and it's actually showing me the width of what the column to the left and the column to the right will be if I choose to insert here. What's handy is that I can click and drag and I can say I just I don't want the top row, I just want these rows divide or these this these rows actually divided into call two columns. If I let go, it's added those in uh, instantly. Same thing, I'm going to actually turn that off. It's much like the, uh, like the quick format button. It'll stay on until you're finished with it, and then you can turn it off.